So I believe Dave Create actually should be familiar with this matchup. He does play uh, Three, a lot. Two, he does uh, one, co mains uh, DK and Diddy Kong. So I wouldn't be surprised if Dave Create knew how to tackle this matchup. And you can see, like, right out the gate, he's moving pretty confidently uh, to get hits in on Dan the Man. Even if not all of them are landing. Uh, Inkling tends to be a pretty annoying matchup for most, for most heavyweights due to the fact that... Mmm! Nice punch! Uh, due to the fact that she is super agile, uh, the splatter shot can be kind of annoying to get past. And uh, the bombs are really good at the ledge! Like that, yeah? Ooh. DK, however, does have the advantage of having a really good down off stage that can actually, like, it's a pretty decently strong spike. Uh, it's not going to kill anyone at like zero, but it is going is going to guarantee to kill people around this percentage. So then the man going for that down B spike was good. Um, and you can also see like the way that Dan the man's moving. He's looking for some kind of follow up off the down B. Very good, yes, and a good up smash follow up. Dave create not in the best situation. He's got to figure out a way to get back on the stage and reassert, reassert stage control. And a cargo lift into the stage spike. No tech from Dave Create. I'm sure he's kind of kicking himself for that one. You gotta always be ready for that uh, that stage spike on mashing, especially against DK. And we have Spike. Not quite. And one of DK's best tools, especially if you have characters that are super small that run underneath him, is uh, down the spike. It offers a lot of combo potential. And you've got to be super wary of it, especially if you're playing a character like Inkling. And a giant punch getting stuffed out by the down smash. And you got the gigantic pink ape. Again, like you can see, um, when then the man was able to assert stage control versus Dave Perry, he was able to do a ridiculous amount of percent and even get a stock. But unfortunately, uh, DK has a really tough time getting off of the ledge. And when he was pushed off, he was uh, the first time he was killed, and the second time he just took a ridiculous amount of percent. So it's really important for these characters that they're able to get into a position where neither of them are off the stage. Inkling gonna be able to recover from that. DK barely not doing enough knockback to kill there. This might be it though. The Kid has not really been mashing or teching. I appreciate the fact that uh, that Dan is. Uh, is using both options, especially like when he thinks that he may be able to get the kill, and an F smash is gonna do it. Create taking the second stock first after kind of a precarious first stock. Oh my gosh, he got grabbed again! He's dead, bro! He's dead! Difficult is trying to set up for that, uh...
Sorry about that, we had a few issues in the bracket, but I'm back. Alright, so, yeah, again, like a super even game. The man, despite like, getting hit with some pretty impressive starts, has been getting uh, really nice combos, especially off stage. Alright, Dave Crate getting the, uh, the roller that he wanted. Another roller and an F smash, that can be enough. Wow, okay. Actually, I wasn't sure if that was an action or not. Keeps getting taken super deep off stage, but managing to survive. I could have sworn that DK had a throw that would uh, have a cargo that would really give him a little bit more knockback than that. But Dave creates uh, managing to, to go back on that damage this time. Unfortunate uh, air dodge, though. You're not allowed to air do uh, directional air dodge below the stage on PS2 specifically. The, the, sta the roof of the game just has too low of and, uh, yeah, Inkling uh, up throw up air is a true combo in a lot of characters that are in DK's weight class until super duper late, especially in it, and even in the kill range. See what stage we're going to. All right, town and city. Stage does offer a lot of uh, advantages to DK specifically. Uh, one of the biggest being the fact that DK, uh, inkling up throw up air, is not as strong of an option on the stage as it would be on most others due to the extended roof. Um, another op another strong good thing that it offers to DK is that it has platforms which DK can use to reorient himself in the air specifically. Right there, he wasn't forced to land in front of Dave Create, which is kind of a big thing. If he was on PS2, he would have had to land on the platform directly above the Imperate's face, or head. Which would have meant he probably would have gotten an or up air. The Imperate was not willing to go up to that platform to meet Dan the Man, so he gave him extra stage control. You see, like, Dan's kind of waiting to reset position whenever he is not sure what Dave is going to do. Uh, Dave has a lot of really good hitboxes that cover a lot of space, and oh my goodness, that down smash! 
If you let it rip a little bit sooner, that definitely would have, uh, that might have been the stock. Ah, oh, dude, the splatter bomb uh, stage bike. Very unfortunate, but you know what? We take those. All right, good use of the uh, the down B. Covers a lot of space. It's super active too. You see, Dan the man's looking for like some kind of kill move to, uh, to finish off the stock. Meanwhile, Dave Curry just wants to rack on damage as much as possible. He's getting, trying to get in like those little glancing blows. He's trying not to overextend. Each time he's seeing that, like, each time he's seeing that Dan has any kind of uh, stage presence and he's holding stage control, he backs off a little bit, but overextending again. Dan is just really good at getting those grabs at like those high percentage situations. And when he gets those grabs, he's gonna get a kill most of the time, even if it's from mid stage. And creates not mashing quite fast enough to break out uh, early from those. Alright, that might be the. Nope. Then the man managing to mash out of the, uh, the ground. The roll. Despite the deficit, and the man's actually uh, he's got a little bit of wiggle room to work with here. Up there, upper, not quite going to be enough, I suppose. And oh, dude, that misspaced border. DK has a huge grab range. You want to be super careful about misspacing anything that isn't safe on shield on this character, especially when he's waiting on a platform. I'm sure Dave Creates kind of kicked himself for that one. He gave up a huge lead for that because of that. Of course, he should still be able to get like a. He should still be able to get the up there up air combo, even if the uh, the march for air is a little bit bigger. Ooh, Dan going super, super, super deep to that one. Yeah. All right, and uh, Dan the man taking that two. Oh my God. Shoutouts to Looney, the boy, the man, the Goodington. Thank you for the gift subs to a bunch of people in the chat. We love you, man. If you guys got a gift sub from Looney, please make sure to shout him out. Alright, we're waiting for... Uh... We're going to have a bit of a change in the queue because, unfortunately, um, the previous sets... The set that was supposed to be next up hasn't finished quite yet. It's taking a little bit. You know, that happens at times. Uh, so next up, we're going to have Arya versus Sensei. 